Well, friends, can you guess where we are? Yes, we are at a used car lot. We are looking at buying a towed vehicle, something to tow behind the motorhome. So we are on Facebook Marketplace. We have been scouring the internet. We have been looking for good deals on lightweight cars that are towable. We have found this is a 2008 Honda Fit, nice and light and compact and small and we're going to test drive some other cars throughout the weekend and see where we end up. So come along with us and help us pick out a new vehicle as we put together a whole nother piece of the RV puzzle. Well, we did it. We drove around all weekend long. We drove several different cars and we came back to this first one that we test drove. It is a 2008 Honda Fit. It's a lightweight car. We compared it to several different other lightweight cars. This one seems pretty nice. It drives really well. We got it for a good price. And so now we just finished the paperwork and we're going home. <laughs> so now the next step is to figure out how we're gonna tow it. I think we're gonna try a dolly, but we need to figure out the right kind and the right price and how we're gonna get that all figured out. So on to step two. It is definitely a process to figure out how to do this and how to do it inexpensively you can pay top dollar for everything but that's kind of not the point with this whole endeavor is to try to be a little frugal but there's our new car from the back it's a little light blue thing it'll match our blue rv so yeah we got a little towed vehicle truth be told after driving this 14 year old car we discovered that the battery was pretty much toast so we took it in, had it tuned up, and it's been running very well ever since. Brand new battery, and we're set to go. We're going for a family drive for the first time in our new little dinghy car. What do you think? Yep. How's the ride back there, bud? Good. Is it working okay? Yeah, I got all my things. All four of us in this tight little car, we even threw uh, Lincoln's bike in the back. So we're going to see if we can work on the RV today. It's still freezing outside, but we're not going to do anything crazy. We're just going to check it out, see how it's fared over the winter. And we are working on getting this extra car hooked up to the back, hitch and dolly and whatnot. So we're going to go check out our RV after the winter. Let's go. Here's our new tow dolly. Second hand, like everything else we've done. I'm trying to figure out how to make it work. We've got the battery on for the first time. It just pretty much iced recently, so you can tell it's still cold out. We'll see how it fared through the winter. Hopefully there's no new leaks. No old leaks. The big task is down here. Figuring out this hitch and everything. Here we are, we are inside the RV. It is on, we got the battery restarted. We have the lights on, everything generally seems to be working. It's just cold. It's been outside all winter. It's still cold, but Will's kind of impatient. So we're gonna see what we can get accomplished today. This whole towing thing is new to us. So that's kind of the big learning curve. We wanna start early so that we have a lot of information by the time we actually go somewhere. We gotta figure out how to hook it all up. And see if we can drive it. Is everything attaching the way it's supposed to? So far. That'll be for the lights. Those are for the lights, yes. The brake lights, or the, yeah, brake yeah. lights. You have the keys still in that car? I do. What does that pin go to? Once this, once the car gets pulled on and, and goes flat, you pull this pin over the top here and screw it back in and then this pin is another safety pin that goes underneath and latches okay. on. And that thing's pin. attached at the thing, like tightened or whatever? This? Yeah, up yeah, there. Yeah, this locks in here and has a safety pin here. The safety chains are crossed on the loose there. That's on the ball, it can't come off. And somehow the ball is attached in there? The ball is attached on a pin. Okay, all these pins. Yep. Hopefully they are sturdy and don't break. Hey, 
that clearance right there, it should be more. So that's why, that's where that clearance comes from. Something just called a, a drop bar, which is a, yeah, I know a bar that comes out and drops it. Right. So your hitch is right there instead. Sure. Yeah. So that's that. So these have gone like this, like to the to the hook that is most centrally located on the tire, uh -huh. right there. Uh -huh. And then the strap goes through here like this. Uh -huh. And then this goes back behind the tire, uh -huh. like this. And this comes up and through the tire and then this goes through this loop are we having fun yet is this simple and <laughs> worth well, it well it's the, fir the first time i know it just seems like a lot to be doing as we try to leave a place you know yeah Very literally, my very first time ever doing anything like this. So. I know. And this goes down through the ratchet. Theoretically. strapped in on that tire. Alright, you want to try to pull it, pull it down? Well, miraculously, we made it around the neighborhood. Everything stayed attached, and it looks like this setup is gonna work. And now we are ready to put it through our paces and go on a real trip. Well, my friends, it is time. It is time to make our first journey. We gotta hook up our new toad. It's all a giant experiment. Let's cross our fingers and hope it goes well. second half of the drive for the this first time worse than your half yeah but you made it you did it I you drove know. the rv and with a tow vehicle 
And yeah. you're in the spot. We're here at the KOA, safe and sound. All right, here is the final proof that we actually made it to our spot with all of our parts intact. We've got our towed vehicle parked out front and there is our trailer kind of snuck up behind um, underneath a little bit. It's actually gonna be under one of our slides so that it doesn't really get in the way too much, but we made it down and it seems to have worked out for the most part. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thanks so much. I know this was um, a learning experience for us. So if you have any tips and tricks and ideas about towing, please let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and I'll show you more of the KOA Nashville coming up in a future video. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.